Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful December day here, here at Hester's Motorsports here in Raton. www.hester-motorsports.com Today we have an extremely special Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. This is the new ranch edition style, as you can tell. So it's a titanium silver, has the new body work to it. Something we've been doing for over two years. <laughs> so it's good to see Kawasaki caught up to us and started doing this so it's really sharp setup so let's get right to this particular build so we started out like I said with the 2020 uh, new ranch titanium silver ranch with the new FXR front end headlights bumper stuff like that the ranch automatically comes with the winch this one this is their the second mule that uh, this customer uh, these customers I should say have bought from us both of them pretty customized and uh, so down here we have the snow plow mounts to be able to fit the KFI snow plow that is on their other one so they can move the snow plow to either one of their Pro FX team mules. We have the uh, Ricochet Off Road A arm guards front and rear on this package. Matches all in the brushed aluminum, looks really nice and uh, not just the A-arm guards but we have the full complete armor package so let me get down underneath here so you can see every square inch of this rock sliders and everything are completely bulletproof now so we got the full 10-piece ricochet off-road skid plate system let us know if you want that for your mule they also make them with a UHMW plate detachments if you go over a lot of rocks and slide over the rocks a lot. <clears throat> the customer like the stock wheels, which they're nice. They look, they go really well with the uh, setup, the black and the machined aluminum. Everything looks really, really well in there. Then we went with uh, 28, 10, 12 tensor regulators. These tires we have on their other machine, they really, really like them. It's a 8-ply, steel-belted radial DOT tire. Really nice tire. It's just like a truck tire, but will fit on the stock wheels. Really nice setup. Anybody looking for some of those, just let me know. I can help you get them set up on your, uh, on your mules. Like I said, they fit on the stock 12-inch wheels. Then we have our awesome Elka. Hester Edition Elka shock package on here and this one is set for a uh, three inch lift not the full-on four inch so we just have the preload set basically right out of the box um, they wanted some extra ground clearance and just to kind of be protected and everything but they don't go in big massive deep ruts big old rocks they're you know um, you know they weren't looking for it to be skyjacked way up they wanted some good ground clearance so right now we're sitting at about 15 and a half inches of ground clearance on this machine which is really well really well so good set of you know good ground clearance and everything but ultra plush ride with our elka shock package now our elka shock package the reason why i call it a hester edition is this is a custom built shock we design, did all the designing, we did all the valving specs, um, everything for, for Elka, and Elka builds it all for us with their immense high quality shocks, super plush, just amazing valving setups in here, and uh, we set the springs up according to whatever load that we're gonna be carrying. Um, so it's, it's, it's set up really, really nice. The shocks are much longer, so the shocks are the lift. That's the beautiful thing is there is no lift kit, there's no bracket or anything, it's all shock. These are the stage twos which have the rebound control on here. They wanted, they put stage twos on their other ones and they said, well, I'll just put stage twos on these even though the stage ones would be just fine with them. You know, they'll probably never ever touch those clickers but they just wanted those, <laughs> wanted the, uh, the nicer ones. Uh, we have five stages of those shocks with that shock right out of the box you just bolt them up you get a three inch vertical lift 
and we gain because it's a much longer shock which means more shock stroke, uh, stroke. therefore we gain four inches of wheel travel please check out our other uh, videos on these shocks and uh, we can set them up for your mule or build you a mule with them on there and it just basically turns the mule into a trophy truck it is just ungodly suspension really amazing really amazing on there and then the biggest highlight to this build is the full cab this is a Curtis hard cab now most people are like well I've seen that but this Curtis hard cab is with the air conditioning so it's got the full AC unit in here really slick so we have the in dash heater system and it's got defrosters you have ports down here you have ports down here this is a new a new setup that we wanted to try with uh, Kawasaki's uh, new heater system we normally do the Curtis heater system in these but we wanted to try this new setup from Kawasaki which is pretty slick I mean it has its it has its cool points so over here this is the heater controls here this one you could actually regulate the temperature so that's really nice you could regulate the temperature of it hotter or colder you have three stage fan so you got off and then one two three positions right here will determine if it's going to be the defroster and upper blower or just down on the feet you know blowing down from the ports down here so really slick setup and of course we have the windshield wiper on here this thing's got a lot of switches so let's just go through here these are all your factory ones you got your diff lock I'm gonna close the door so that way you don't hear all the uh, road noise you have your factory diff lock for the rear diff your four wheel drive this is your outer headlights and this is your inner headlights so these are the halogen headlights that are closer to the edge of the body and then the inner headlights which are the, the up inner ones in there and you have high beam and low beam on those then we have a 54 inch curved light bar going all the way across here you can see it right there I'll show it to you once again on the outside we have a 54 inch light bar oops I'm sorry that is the this is really cool <laughs> this is the light bar we have rear pod lights in the rear on this here this is the dome lights so let me show you here so I turn the key on here turn the dome lights on and we have LED strips forward and back here so a nice little setup it lights up in here it's not so wicked bright that it blinds the heck out of you it's a nice lower um, dullness to it so it's pretty slick we have Kawasaki's sound system in here so well, like right now I just turn it on and it's just it's looking for the Bluetooth system here but we have the sound system here which is a four speaker system we have two speakers down here so there's a speaker down here another speaker down here and normally you would put them up here but because of the air conditioning unit you can't fit the speakers right here so we custom set them up you can see the one speaker right there and another one just behind my head here I'll I'll get out and show you all that but a couple other things that I wanted to show so like I said you know we've got the front light bar the 54 inch curve we got the rear pod lights that light up the bed and behind you uh, right there here's the wind switch we you know relocated it to where it's you know when they use a snowplow it's much easier it's right here by their by their hand control and they could just reach down and just bap bap then you have this <laughs> he wanted a Model T horn in here. So we got the Auga horn on here. Now the air conditioning, let me kind of come up here. The air conditioning unit here, the engine must be started. It cannot run unless the engine is started. Let me close that door back again. So once you start it, then it activates and you can turn it on. And you got your different blowers and this is one heck of a one heck of a uh, air conditioning unit um, I have to double check the specs but I do believe that this is like a 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit 
and it gets ice cold and you got four vents that you can move change left and right all that other stuff so so you can move them around open them, close them all that other stuff and you got the ports over there as well and uh, the air intake is right there so it actually recirculates inside the cabin so it's not pulling any air from the outside it is a electronically controlled pump system up on top of the roof so you can see it right there it's all it's all guarded by plating steel plating so there's our wicked 54 inch curved light bar just below the top there and the windshield wiper tucked up up underneath there now this air conditioning system since it does draw electrical power we put a 120 amp alternator we upgraded the alternator from 75 amp to 120 amp on here that is part of the kit with the cab so it's all one full setup from Curtis and uh, it's an expensive cab but man is it nice so we have you know a fully sealed cab just like an automobile really nice setup it's all steel all glass um, transforms the back will transform it's it's all it's really awesome setup like that you got heating you got air conditioning all that excuse me mm, got the hiccups uh, you got all that stuff so it's really slick really really slick setup there and then the pod lights here and it's all set you got the pod lights right back here on the back they're you know that doesn't interfere with any any transformation or dumping of the bed or anything like that and you'll see this little v mark right here on the top of the cab that is so this back half will actually lift up it's got pneumatic pistons in the back here see it's got pneumatic pistons that hold the door and then like you unlock the door unlock the roof here and you have pneumatic pistons that will hold this back section up so if you need to dump the bed or anything you got all that and of course the new 2020 ranch edition comes with a full two-tone seat so it's not just the back the base seats are two-tone and the front seats are the contoured seat so it comes with the updated contoured seat that is much thicker more comfortable really nice that is another thing that I asked Kawasaki about and I, I would say in some of my other videos I would say come on Kawasaki you need to put the two-tone seats you need to put the contoured seats you want the ranch edition to be the badass machine then do the badass setup so <laughs> that's basically what I told them so um, it's good to see that they have changed a lot of the stuff on here uh, other than cosmetic stuff other than cosmetic the vehicle is identical there's no difference in engine or, or anything else like that so there's not a different engine there's not a different powertrain nothing like that it's still the bomb proof reliable 812 cc three-cylinder engine loads of torque awesome clutching system really awesome setup on this machine I'm gonna back up and get the entire view of the whole vehicle here you have to forgive me if I'm a pointing a little bit different the the way this the angle of the Sun is it's reflecting off my glasses here so I can't really even see the screen on my phone so please forgive me on if any misalignments on <laughs> on the vehicle here so I'm trying to do the best I can with with the Sun at such a sharp angle I'm not a winter person I'm a summer person come on spring <laughs> I'm ready for spring to come back really awesome setup here I mean covers everything you know we have the springs and everything set up for the extra weight of the cab and everything we haven't we haven't done anything on the suspension we haven't tuned it or anything I mean out of the box three inch lift uh, extra wheel travel super super smooth we did these shocks on their other mule they brought their other mule in for a service um, you know getting it ready for the winter that was a few months ago and we put the shocks on and one ride and they were just like oh my god what a difference I mean it's a whole different universe uh, with the R suspension package it is really awesome really awesome setup 
want to thank you all for watching. Please give us a like on our Facebook page. We do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, so we actually have pictures of this being all tore apart because some of the things that we do, like we tear this entire hood off whenever we do the heater and we completely seal the entire dash. So there's zero air coming into that cab, whether it be cold air in the winter or hot air from the summer. So like when the cooling fan kicks on and it like shoves hot air into the through the dash and stuff, you don't get any of that with sealing the dash like we do. And that's the nice thing. You, you get to see pictures and you know videos and stuff like that on our Facebook page. So like I said, give us a like on our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash Hester's Motorsports or just search Hester's Motorsports uh, in the uh, search bar for Facebook and uh, you know give us a like on that um, really appreciate everybody watching we custom build vehicles and ship them out all over the country so we we have people ordering mules from all over the country you can check out our T-Rex and mule setups uh, we do custom build all major manufacturers I really highlight and you know I really just do the main videos and everything but on our Facebook page you do see you do get to see um, you know whenever we get some razors or, or generals or um, can-ams or anything in for any custom work you know we show that off on our Facebook page too so really awesome setup I want to thank you all for watching really appreciate it uh, it's been a banner year you know, if you need anything for your mule, your side-by-side, -side, you know, Polaris, Can-Am, Honda, Yamaha, we do it all. Uh, can drop ship about 98% of everything. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, you know, some parts that, you know, we even make ourselves, like some of the lift for the mules and, you know, different things like that, some clutching components and stuff that we'll ship directly from our store. Um, because you know we keep a huge variety of stuff in stock keep a lot of accessories in stock um, so I mean, we got wheels and tires of several different selections and off you know uh, options different tire sizes and tire designs and wheel designs and wheel sizes and it's truly amazing the amount of accessories that we have been keeping in stock so um, you know, if you're around us locally, you need something, the chances are it's a, it's a pretty good chance that I have it in stock, you know, if you wanted to come get it in the same day. Uh, a lot of the stuff, you know, I'll just have drop ship within a couple days, you know, two, three days you have it to your door. And uh, pretty much free shipping on everything out of state, no sales tax. Um, we beat and we pretty much crush most all the internet prices. So. Give us a call. Let us set you up with whatever you could dream. Anything you could dream. Thank you all for watching. Have any questions, please give us a call. 575-445-3558. Be more than happy to answer any questions or help you out in any way possible uh, to achieve, uh, achieve the goals that you're looking for. And once again, it's almost Christmas time. Uh, Today is December the 12th, so... Merry Christmas, everybody. Or no, today's the 11th. God, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you all and God bless.